Well, hello friends and welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be making cinnamon apples in the crock pot or slow cooker, whichever one you have. I have crock pot brand, but slow cooker, whatever. This is a super easy recipe. All you need are obviously apples. Um, this recipe calls for six apples. If you want more, you could just easily double it. Um, two thirds cup of granulated sugar, two tablespoons of butter, and two teaspoons of cinnamon. And with this, you know, you really can't go wrong if you want to add a little bit more cinnamon or less. You have more tart apples, you need a little bit more sugar, or maybe you got super sweet, you don't want as much. So you can totally um, vary that. You really can't go wrong. You're just cutting up apples, putting them in slow cooker with some sugar, spice, and butter, and letting them cook. That's it. Now, normally I don't like to have kitchen gadgets that only do one thing, but let me tell you what. An apple peeler <laughs> is worth it, even if you only peel apples once a year. Um, I will link this one on Amazon. It was very inexpensive. It works great. And then I do have the apple core because that's, again, just something quick and easy to do. And I probably get these out maybe, honestly, just three times a year. And it's worth it to have this. And like I said, it wasn't very expensive. Um, it just makes the whole process go so much faster. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to peel and core six apples. I got Gala. You can use whatever kind of apple you want. I was just at Sam's Club and they had the Gala um, five pound bags at a really good price. So that's the one I picked up. Okay, we have the first apple loaded. You want to have the um, larger part of the apple at the top. And here comes Charlie. Wants, of course, I start to film a video. And this, I'm trying to do this one hand. It's a lot easier if you just do it. <laughs> you hold on to the machine or the device, whatever it's called. There you can see. And your apple is perfectly peeled. Okay, so I have my apples peeled. Now you can see the ones that were a little smaller or misshapen, it kind of missed it, but that's not a big deal. I can clean that up. So with the apple peeler, the bigger the apple, the better, but that's not a big deal. Um, and now I'm gonna go, oh, and I did do seven just because, um, why not? It's not, again, it's not gonna make that big of a difference. It's This isn't a precise recipe. So now I'm just gonna go in and um, core them and slice them. Now you can absolutely use apples this size for this recipe, not a big deal at all, but I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut each of these in half, um, just to make them a little thinner, and that's just personal preference. You can chop them up, whatever you wanna do, whatever you like. The apples are all sliced up in the crock pot. You can see there's some peel left, it's not a big deal. <laughs> so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to put two thirds cup of granulated sugar and two teaspoons of um, ground cinnamon over the top and stir it up. So the sugar and cinnamon is on top and now just stir it up. You could obviously put the sugar and cinnamon in another bowl and combine it that way if you want, but you do not have to and I don't wanna to have to dirty up another bowl. The final ingredient is to dot two tablespoons of butter on top, so I've done that, and then it's time to cook it. And you can do this two ways. You can cook it on low for six hours, or you can cook it on high for three hours. I'm gonna do the three hours on high. So there we go. You just cover it. You don't need to stir it or anything. You can just leave it to cook. So we'll do that, and we'll check in when it's done. So we're halfway through cooking. Uh, remember, I'm doing the three hours on high. So um, I'm an hour and a half in. Just gonna go in here and stir. You do not have to stir yours. I just like to pick at things. I can't leave them alone. So just doing a quick stir here. And then another hour and a half, and these will be done. It's been three hours. The apples are done. Get a lot of the sauce down at the bottom. You can just eat these on their own. You can have them for breakfast, put them over pancakes, waffles, put it over ice cream, make it a side dish. They just, they go well any time of day. It's super easy and so, so good. So I will leave a link to the recipe below. It's over on my blog. And let me know if you make these. If you like these recipe videos, please be sure to give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know that you want me to do more. And of course, make sure you're subscribed to my channel for more videos like this. So until the next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.